Hello my fellow miner. Gminer has released a new version where they promise better performance for LHR unlock and yet a fee increase. The question is, are they luring us in with new found riches just to burn us? Hopefully there's a nice balance between the performance increase and the fee increase. They do promise major performance increase, so that is also what I expect. In other good news, before we go on to the testing, there has been some uh, development in the crypto market and now we see the volatility of Ethereum and all the other cryptocurrencies. So if the profit calculations today seem a bit funky, well then now you know why. The market got a very nice haircut today. I will say that you shouldn't worry if you are in it for the long run as surely the market will moon again. Just like this donkey, sent to outer space using advanced mathematics and mechanics. And now it's time for the graphic card introduction where I have added a new card. Quickly moving on like a ninja, uh, we're going to have a look at the RTX 3060 LHR version 2 from Sotag Gaming. It has been working perfectly in very good quality to be honest. The RTX 3060 Ti from Asus. They are tough series. No, that is actually the wrong picture. There. Now we have the right one. The graphic card comes with two balls of steel in each fan. Military grade. Yes, yes. A piano was dropped on my head as a kid, so I am legally excused. We also have the MSI Venture 3, which is also an RTX 3060 Ti. Rocking Hynix RAM. But this time it's a revision 2 and that means it can actually clock up to 1700 in Windows or 3400 in HiveOS. This very nice card is super slim and super noisy. Then we have the RTX 3070 iChill 4X from Inno 3D. It's actually surprisingly good. The quality is top notch, I have not changed anything. It's super cool actually. And then of course it comes with lots of RGBs that you cannot turn off via the software because the software part sucks. But it doesn't matter because more RGBs, more mega hash. Up next we have the RTX 3070 Ti from Sotag Gaming, also known as the DIY 3070 Ti because it drops thermal padding and comes with screws that have fallen out. I actually expected the quality to be uh, on pair with their RTX 3060. Oh boy, was I wrong. What a pile of poop. And then we have the RTX 3080 LHR from Gigabyte Vision Overclock Revision 2. It's actually quite good looking, but I wish you could get it in black brushed metal instead, even though it doesn't really matter because it's part of my mining rig and I never see it. And now it's time for the last card, the RTX 3080 Ti from Inno 3D iChill X4. Yes, I'm very well aware that it looks exactly like the RTX 3070 edition. Um, it is. Actually, the pictures are also exactly the same, so I had to take the one with the box. I said their graphic card is good quality, not their software and definitely not their homepage. That is a very good example of what happens when you take a back-end software developer and put him or her to make a homepage. If you haven't subscribed, Uncle Donkey would very much like you to hit subscribe and afterwards that bell notification. Yes, the bell so you can get spammed even while you sit on the toilet. I mean, who doesn't want to get a random notification at random times around the clock? It is very nice. So remember to hit the bell notification and you will get unwanted messages all the time. It's time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR version 2. I locked the core clock to 1552, the memory clock to 2600 in HiveOS. If you're using Windows or nice hash via Windows, then create batch file based upon what you see here. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3060 Ti's overclock settings for mining Ethereum. Please note that this is revision 1 of the Hynex memory, as that is why the memory is quite low. I locked the core clock to 1350, set the memory clock to 2100 in HiveOS. If you're using Windows or NiceHas in Windows, create batch file based upon what you see here. 
Now it's time to have a look at the RTX 3060 Ti, also high next memory, but revision 2's overclock settings for mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock at 1500 and the memory clock to 3400 in HiveOS. If you're using NiceHash or Windows, create batch file based upon what you see here. Now it's time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 11.25 and set the memory clock to 2600 in HiveOS. If you are using Windows or NiteTas in Windows, create batch files based upon what you see here. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti mining Ethereum. Please note that I still haven't changed the thermal padding and it still performs very badly. In HiveOS I locked the core clock to 1050 and set the memory clock to 2400. If you are using NiceHash or Windows, create batch files based upon what you see here. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 mining Ethereum. I set the core clock to 1500 and the memory clock to 3400 in HiveOS. If you are using Windows or NiceHash in Windows, create batch files based upon what you see here. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 Ti mining Ethereum. I set the core clock to 1200 and the memory clock to 2600. Please note that this is running the EVGA BIOS and you can find a video for that on my channel. If you are using Windows or NiceHash in Windows, you can create batch files based upon what you see here. It is finally time to have a look at the average reported results. Please note the fee increase in version 2.75 and the difference in NVIDIA driver version between 2.75 and 2.74. First up is the RTX 3060. 36.6 MHz per second at 103 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.355. In the older version, version 2.74, we have 36.3 MHz per second at 103 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.352. I would not call that a major increase in, <laughs> in hash rate due to the new version, unfortunately. Now it's time to have a look at the average reported results for the RTX 3060 Ti. Both cards, of course. First up is the military graded low memory revision 1 Hynix memory. 43.9 MHz per second at 123 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.357. In the previous version, version 2.74, 43.3 MHz per second at 124 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.349. Again, we see a very small increase, and I would actually clock that up to using the newer version, version. 475.46 of the NVIDIA driver. And now to Hynix Revision 2, 47.5 MHz per second at 145 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.328. Unfortunately, this is a new card for me, so I haven't actually tested it in Gminer version 2.74. Now let's have a look at the average reported results for the RTX 3070. 46 MHz per second at 114 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.404. In the previous version, 45.8 MHz per second at 111 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.413. Wow, that is definitely a major improvement. But where? I guess their wallet. Now let's have a look at the average reported results for the RTX 3070 Ti. DIY edition from Sotac Gaming delivers a crappy card that you have to assemble yourself. 59 MHz per second at 186 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.317. In the previous version, 58.5 MHz per second at 178 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.329. Right, so the conclusion must be that in case you are actually using Gminer, then you should stay on 2.74 if you have the RTX 3070 Ti, as it actually uses 8 watts less for the cost of a half mega hash. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3080. 77.8 mega hash per second at 243 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.320. 
In the previous version, 77.3 MHz per second at 244 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.317. Yet again, a very minor improvement, not major. And now for the final card, the RTX 3080 Ti. 90.2 MHz per second at 263 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.343. In the previous version, 89.5 MHz per second at 263 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.340. Again, I will stress that these tests have been done on two different sets of drivers. Please note that 495.46 tends to perform a lot better, which you can check out in my T-Rex driver comparison video where you can actually see it. And that brings us to this major performance increase. I guess that is purely in their wallet because it's not here. I think that is pretty uh, bad, a very bad way to actually treat miners that you promise major performance increase and then it's simply not there at all, but you also add a very nice, that is though major if you look at the percentage wise for uh, for their share, a uh, major uh, fee increase uh, hidden behind a non-existing major performance increase. I think that is very very bad to be honest and uh, all their uh, street cred with me has uh, gone to the trash can. To say the least, I am extremely disappointed in G-Miner. Anyway, let's move on and uh, compare it to the other miners to see if this is now the top performer and if you should actually consider moving over to this major performance increase version compared to, let's say, another miner. Here we have G minor, LOL minor, NB minor and T Rex. G minor, NB minor and T Rex are all using the same Nvidia driver, which is actually the one that performs best for all the cards, although NB minor doesn't seem to be affected that much by driver versions. As T-Rex was the previous best of them all uh, when it comes to raw power, let's uh, compare T-Miner to T-Rex now. So if you have a RTX 3060, yes, you would gain uh, 0.1 MHz per second and save 2 watts uh, if you use G-Miner. If we look at the RTX 3060 Ti, you would actually not gain anything. If we look at the RTX 3070, you would actually not gain anything. If you look at the RTX 3070 Ti, you would actually not gain anything. You would actually lose. If you look at the RTX 3080, you would actually not gain anything. If you look at the RTX 3080 Ti, you would actually not gain anything. So this major performance increase uh, doesn't actually make it worth it. And if you're using T-Rex, then you should just keep using it because you don't actually get anything out of moving over to G minor. Now you may say that, oh donkey, you are overly negative. G minor is the best in the world and it is completely fine that they increase the fee. Yes, I am overly negative and it is completely fine that they increase the fee. But then they should just release a version that says increasing fee. I think it's very bad to hide it behind a promise of major performance increase for LHR cards, which actually isn't there. I think it's completely fine they increase their fee up to the level of uh, most other miners with the exception of LOL miner. I just think they have handled it very badly and that will actually hurt their reputation a lot, um, including with me, because I actually look down upon uh, actions like that. Anyway, enough complaining from me, let's move on to have a look at the profits, or if we can even call that since the market uh, got a very nice haircut today. As you can see, I've added the profit when uh, a kilowatt hour costs $10.00. $30 and $50. If you are around $50, you should really consider um, investing directly in crypto instead, I think, at least for now, or invest in solar power and then get your electricity for free, with the exception of the extreme premium it actually costs. I am not going to read them all up as I would most likely go completely crazy and then throw myself over the balcony with head first. But since there's water just downstairs, then I would just get very wet and it's super cold, so I won't actually do that. 
Anyway, it is time to end the video. I would just like to say that I really hope that Gminer has made a mistake, they have compiled the wrong code or that for some odd reason it doesn't work with the driver I am using. Something that, that makes up for the poor performance increase and not the major performance increase they promised. Now is the perfect time for you to click subscribe, like the video and share it with your grandma because I need a new pair of shoes. Yes, I still haven't gotten them. Actually, I'm in lockdown. The little one has corona and we have all been in uh, isolation for a week. However, none of us have any symptoms. He uh, has been a bit snotty and I haven't felt anything, neither the wife or the daughter. So that is it. It's uh, been lovely. Um, being terrorized by kids the whole day. They are hyperactive, of course, because they have been locked in prison here with us, the old people, aka the parents. But um, anyway, I hope to see you in the next video. If you haven't actually checked out my channel, then you should do it because I'll be launching a new uh, playlist that will contain alternatives to Ethereum now that we get closer to Ethereum 2. So you may actually want to check that out. Check Torncon out and Elysium. I will uh, link it somewhere or something, most likely at the end of this video, which you should be able to see now, I think. See you in the next one, for reals. Oh, and check out my rake video.